Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on this Wednesday afternoon. Look at all the rain across our state. Scattered thunderstorms continuing now. And as we zoom in to the metro here, uh, or actually just starting off in southwestern Oklahoma, this big blob of storms, some isolated severe weather in here, but generally we've seen a weakening trend. Then closer to campus, a severe thunderstorm warning continues until 5 o'clock. The latest on this is that the hail could be up to golf ball size. We have received some reports of pea size hail in northwest Norman. Notice that storm getting very close here to campus, so it may miss us just to the north. But it's, again, it's this yellow box right here that continues until five o'clock. So we're still watching that. Then more heavy rain will be moving in behind that. So it's going to be continuing to rain and occasional lightning. The hail threat will probably start to come down eventually once we get past this storm, but it is going to be a wet and soggy evening. As you can see from our campus cam right now, the rain coming down hard. Can't quite tell if it's hail, but we're going to be watching that and we'll have reports uh, definitely later on in the newscast as well if we see anything that comes in. But again, look at all this rain that's stretching now from the North Metro down to the Red River. More intense severe thunderstorms right now in parts of Texas. This is all part of a storm system that is going to continue to keep us raining over the next couple of hours here. But, but, but eventually later on this evening, the heavy rain will start to shift into southeastern Oklahoma and we'll just be dealing with some lighter rain here across Norman. And then as we head out the door tomorrow morning, it should be drying up. So just a mostly cloudy sky to start out your day on Thursday with the rain tapering off. Severe threats this evening across southern Oklahoma. The wind is the main threat. Also hail and flooding possible here across central Oklahoma. Again, the threat's a little bit lower, but still wind, hail and flooding all possibilities over the next few hours. Then tomorrow again, mostly cloudy during the morning. More sunshine as we get into the afternoon up to 77 degrees with a north wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. So here we go picking back up with future cast at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The cold front moving through the rain moving out. And then if you're heading down to Dallas tomorrow afternoon, dry weather in our forecast and with a mix of sun and clouds. So no issues at least weather wise with travel down I 35 for tomorrow. And then same story on Friday, clear conditions, no rain, no problems getting down to Dallas for the OU Texas game. And then a second stronger cold front on the way for Friday. This is going to bring a big push of some colder air to start out the weekend. Take a look at these morning temperatures on Saturday. That'll be down into the 40s and possibly the 30s across far northern Oklahoma. So October is on the way because, yeah, this is some chilly weather just a couple days away. Saturday afternoon going to be very nice with highs in the mid 60s to low 70s. And if you are going to be in Dallas, take a look at this. One of the coldest Red River rivalries since 2019 with temperatures in the 50s at the start of the game and will warm up to the 60s to near 70 by the end of the game. Your seven day forecast shows that cold front coming through on Friday, dropping our temperatures for Saturday. Then we will once again warm back up with highs returning to the 80s for early next week. But a good taste of some fall weather is on the way.